we want to determine which derivative function here on the left would produce the direction field or slope field here on the right. To do this, we'll select points on the coordinate plane, find the derivative function values at those points, then determine which derivative function gives function values that match the slopes of the segments in the direction field. Before we do this, though, notice how all along the x-axis when y is zero, as well as all along the y-axis when x is zero, for all these derivative functions, these products would be zero, and notice how the slopes of all these segments along the x-axis and y-axis are zero. So we don't want to pick points on the x-axis or y-axis, and also notice that the point one comma one, all of our derivative function values would also be one, so we won't use the point one comma one either. Let's use the points one comma negative one, negative one comma negative one, and negative one comma positive one. So we'll use these points, find the derivative function values one at a time, and then see which of these derivative function values match the slopes of our segments. So again, we said one comma negative one, negative one comma negative one, and negative one comma one. So looking at our first derivative function here, notice how we're squaring the x value, then multiplying by y. So if we square positive one, then multiply by negative one, the derivative function value would be negative one. Here, if we square negative one, that'd be positive one. Positive one times negative one is negative one. And then here, if we square negative one, that'd be positive one times one, giving us a derivative function value of one. So at the point one, negative one, notice how the slope of this segment looks like it's positive one, but our derivative function value is negative one, which means this first derivative function could not produce this direction field. So we can go ahead and stop and eliminate this derivative function, and now we'll go to the next derivative function. So we'll erase these derivative function values and do this again, but notice how here we have x times y squared, so we're now squaring the y value. So we'd have one times negative one squared, that'd be positive one. Here we'd have negative one times negative one squared, that'd be negative one times positive one or negative one. And here we'd have negative one times positive one squared, which would be negative one. And now let's check the slopes of the segments at these points. At one comma negative one, the derivative function value is positive one, the slope of the segment does look like it's positive one. At the point negative one comma negative one, the derivative function value is negative one, which does match the slope of this segment here. And then finally, at the point negative one comma one, the derivative function value is negative one, and notice how at this point, the slope of the segment does look like it is negative one. And therefore, it does appear that this derivative function would produce this direction field. Let's go ahead and select this as our answer, but let's also check the remaining derivative functions to make sure the derivative function values would be different at these points. If they are the same, we'd have to find the derivative function values at additional points. Well, notice how this next derivative function is x squared times y squared. Notice how this product here would always be positive so this would be positive one, positive one, and positive one. And notice how at the point negative one comma negative one, the slope of the segment is negative one, not positive one. And therefore, this could not be the correct derivative function. And now for our last derivative function, we just have dy dx equals x times y. So x times y here would be negative one, here we'd have negative one times negative one or positive one, and here we'd have negative one times positive one or negative one. So notice how at the point one comma negative one, this point here, the slope of the segment is positive one, not negative one, and therefore this cannot be the correct derivative function. By process of elimination, we determined that this direction field would be produced by the derivative function dy dx equals x times y squared. I hope you found this helpful.